We're here with Moon. Moon, what brings you out to the Stand Up For Pits event? Rebecca Corey and her amazing dog, Angel. Uh, my daughter is uh, eight and she'll be nine and we fell in love with Rebecca's dog and um, we'd always been afraid of the breed and then uh, just, we just had never been uh, exposed to the breed before and and just falling in love with Rebecca's dog and um, and just getting to have, again, that kind of exposure. We, we got to educate ourselves about, about pit bulls and we fell madly in love with the breed and then we ended up rescuing one ourselves so right so you're a pet parent what has having a pit bull taught you well I, I've always been told I have a pit bull personality just stay on track and that that is true so now it's a compliment to me before it always was an insult and I'm like you know I am you know it because they just have nothing but love to give and and they just uh, they just need uh, corralling just like me <laughs> so now, Stand Up For Pits is just a great event. You support it regularly. If you could get the message out to animal lovers and, and pet parents, but also the non-pet parents of the world, what would you say about pit bulls? Well, the thing about pit bulls is that uh, you, you always, with any breed, you have to ask the owner if the dog is a friendly dog. It's, it this doesn't mean that you just suddenly start trusting a, any dog. It's not about that. It's about, again, education and about how a dog is raised and knowing the, the type of uh, personality of any dog. That's just, you know, I, I once got a miniature dachshund that was an asshole. Do you know what I'm saying? So you got to figure out the pet that's right for you. So that, that's just basic information. Um, and then outside of that, I, I think uh, I think when you are exposed to something that is unfamiliar, everybody has a, a, a nervous reaction. I think so. Again, sure. it, it is about education, and it's also about care. Um, this is this. People are not foolish here. There are people that do terrible things to the dogs, and those dogs can can be um, they go against their nature because their nature is to is to love. Like our our swims and and just all it wants to do is please you. Um, but uh, so it's it's but it might not be right for everybody. Poodle's not right for me. <laughs> now, you're involved with Rebecca. What do you have to say about Rebecca? Because I mean, she is really putting out a tremendous effort. But you get to see it in a way that most of us don't. Mm -hmm. um, the behind the scenes is scary. She's got a lot of passion, um, and uh, that's with everything. Though she's she's just here to just like the dog, uh, just give that much love and she's going to see this journey through and make sure that you don't just destroy an animal, uh, you, you wouldn't do that to a person uh, that, had a, a, that was raised poorly, you would hopefully find a way to rehabilitate it or raise it with love from the, from the beginning and you make those kinds of choices with animals and all living things, a, a rogue bush for example. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for supporting the event. Thank we you. really appreciate it. <laughs> thank you so much. Thanks for being Take here. Take care.